So as y'all know, I am now a baby medical student. Y'all have already seen my orientation week to medical school, and this week I'm taking y'all through my first week of actual classes. You're gonna come with me as I meet new people, learn new things, try to get my life together, and a lot of things in between. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. everybody so it's about 8 32 a.m. so my first class starts in 28 minutes and um, I'm not feeling as nervous as I was last night I think I'm a little bit more excited now because we're finally getting started after years and years and years of studying I finally get to study the body so I'm excited about that um, we'll see I was supposed to preview all of the lecture slides for today last night um, spending about 15 minutes maybe per lecture uh, that didn't happen that did not happen and I was like you know I'll wake up early today and I'll preview the slides today that also didn't happen um, but that's okay we're just gonna go into it it's gonna rip the band-aid off um, yeah so I'm gonna go get some coffee link up with my roommates we're gonna walk over to the auditorium because we actually have an option as to how we want to take classes. We can do it live in person, live online, um, even though you don't get to ask questions there. And you can also watch the lecture once it's recorded and posted later on, on your own time. So <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Um, I'm gonna survive. I will try to check in with y'all a bit throughout the day to let you know how much I'm drowning. Just kidding, not gonna drown. We're gonna have fun today. Um, all right, I'll see you later. Happy first day of class, Edward! <laughs> yes. Okay, so things are going relatively well. Um, I was like super excited because like the course information is just everything I want it to be But then I found out that there was like a histology video that I should have watched for the next lecture So that's gonna take about an hour. So during my lunch break. That's what I'm doing today. Oh, okay Well two lectures down or three lectures down only two more to go and then a lab So, um, let's go get some more coffee and we'll see what happens so I ended up going back to my apartment for my lunch break and then afterwards I showed up to the other two lectures and it was a lot, but I still had to go to the store to pick up some scrubs for anatomy lab, which we start tomorrow. It was nice getting off of campus and taking a break for a minute to go get some scrubs from a store that's not too far away from campus. Hi everybody, so the time is about, I think it's like five, maybe 5 15 p.m. Um, I am done with my first day of lectures uh, we did five lectures today and a lab things were going well um, and then we got to a point where it's just kind of like things just got like annoying so I got irritated today um, and so I'm just kind of like irritated annoyed um, I think that a huge part of it is because I don't like the heat and it's just like really humid outside and I'm just not here for it so I'm just not here for anything really um, yeah but honestly it, the first day of medical school was not as bad as I thought it was going to be uh, I learned that I need to set up my caffeine schedule a little better and instead of having two cups of coffee I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and then a cup of tea uh, I'm gonna work on my bedtime I'm going to be a little bit more organized and it's gonna be just fine it's gonna be fine because I realized that and I just have to keep reminding myself that the material isn't hard, it's just a lot. And they don't expect us to know everything, so I'm not going to know everything, and I'm not gonna try to know everything. Just gonna try to know what I can know, that's it. Um, yeah, so now I'm also a little bit agitated because I'm already behind schedule. Um, that's okay, I'll catch up. So I'm going to try to get in maybe three, four hours of studying, then just start again tomorrow. Just start again tomorrow, because it'll be good. When I'm not in the right headspace, I typically light my candle, turn off my lights, have more of a zen vibe, so this really helps me get into the mode. 
Hey Google, what does adduct mean? Duct has two different meanings. Starting with the most common one, duct can be used as a noun to mean a tube or passageway in a building or machine hey, for air, liquid, cake. What does adduct mean? Addict is used as a noun to mean a person who is addicted to a particular substance, typically an illegal drug. Hey, Similarly to stop. Hi, I'm back. Um, and better than ever. Yeah, definitely. So I, I've actually just been kind of crying a little bit because y'all know I love to cry. <laughs> love a good cry. Um, yeah, well, today's cry session was about the fact that um, I decided I was going to try to make some Anki cards real quick, you know, to kind of just like really gear towards um, this first lecture. And um, after spending like an hour and a half, like just making some Anki cards, making them look beautiful sorry excuse my language um but after making them look beautiful and i was all done and everything i went to go review these anki cards and um they were gone they were gone i don't know what happened so i exed out and then i tried to get back into my anki app on my computer because i'm cheap um and the app was gone why was the app gone i don't know why the app was gone but um it was just gone and so I lost like probably like 90 flashcards or something like that um, and it was nice I had like diagrams in there bolded words it was beautiful but it's okay that's not what got me down it's not what got me down y'all oh, okay so that happened uh, but then I went to go study with my roommates and I was like talking about all my Anki struggles and I was just kind of laughing through it because at that point it was still kind of okay I was like fine whatever I still kind of learned a little something and then I decided to um, restart my computer to see if that helped the Anki situation and when my computer turned back on I was like completely locked out of my computer out of my laptop which which is the new laptop I just got um so <laughs> yeah um so I, I know I was putting in the right password and everything but it was just like not having it so I tried to reset it and it was just, it took me about, I don't know, like an hour and a half to try to reset my laptop. So it's now 12.06 a.m. I ain't got no flashcards. My laptop is back, but everything that was on my laptop is now gone. Um, and, and, and it's way past my bedtime. It's way past my bedtime. So I was just kind of like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just was like, let me just cry. So so that's where I'm coming from right now. First day of medical school was quite the experience, but tomorrow will be great. Um, I know that it will be just fabulous. It's going to be great. Um, I'm back, good morning. Today is Tuesday, the time is about 8.15, around there. We start anatomy lab at 9 a.m. and we go until about 12 p.m., then we break for lunch. And um, I think that's kind of it for today. Yesterday was just kind of like an, an anomaly type thing, I believe. It was like six hours of lecture and stuff like that, but today is just lab for four hours on the back muscles that we learned yesterday. I'm feeling, mentally, I'm feeling a lot better this morning than I was last night. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, I still gotta watch a few anatomy videos before I get in there, but I don't think it's really hit me yet that I'm about, that, that people have really donated their bodies for my learning, and I'm about to go in and actually like start dissecting um, cadavers. So. We'll see. I haven't really like given it much thought until now, um, so we'll see what happens when I get in there. Uh, this should be a very interesting experience. Whew. Yeah, so, so that's the plan for today. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to study, 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 study to try to catch up from all that I missed out on yesterday because of technological issues and Anki issues. Um, I think that yesterday was just a huge, really early on reminder that um, medical school happens, but life happens as well. And you can't be too strict with the schedule. You gotta be able to be flexible because life happens. Okay, so it's about 12 p.m. Um, it's 12, 12.20 actually, just got out of anatomy lab. Um, and it was an experience. I, at first I was like really nervous about 
um, cutting into a person. Um, and what happened was like we we saw who we were going to be learning from, uh, our first patient basically, and um, we were able to see their cause of death, we were able to see their age, um, and things like that. So that was really interesting. But it was a really good experience, um, being able to learn and peel back the different layers of muscle, because that's what we focused on today. Um, it was it was special. I, I really enjoyed it, um, and I got along pretty well with my lab mates. We all kind of worked together as a team. So I was like, okay, yeah, this could work. This could work. <sighs> yes. Um, so now I'm actually here in one of our lecture halls because we have a financial aid meeting around 3 p.m. today, and it's first come first serve. Why? I don't know, but they're allowing like 20 people. So I'm like, let me just set up shop around here and just kind of try to study a little bit and catch up on what I missed out on. Okay, so just a little update. It's about 7 p.m. I studied for a little bit, went to a financial aid meeting. Then I finally came back here around like 4 p.m. Um, talking about since the last time that y'all saw me. I studied a little bit more, went into an SNMA meeting. SNMA is a Student National Medical Association, I believe. Or alliance, I don't know, something like that. But basically, it's a student group for black medical students. Um, so I went to that, they gave us a few study tips, tricks on surviving the first week of medical school, so that was pretty cool. Um, and now, I'm actually heading out to go get some ice cream with my structures group, my lab group. Um, the one that I will be with for the entirety of anatomy. Um, so just kind of like bonding with them, getting to know them, because I'm going to be spending a lot of time with them. Hello, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Bob. Bob? Bob. Representing Northwestern today. Yeah, okay, right. Bob. <laughs> uh, what do you, what do you, what, how did you feel about our first lab today? It was incredibly enlightening. Enlightened? Enlightening, yes. Yeah, it was. It was a lot. I feel um, myself reaching, reaching closer to a transcendental plane to of a, existence. You said a transcendental plane of existence? Yeah. Okay, I didn't expect that. I like That's that. Though. I vibe with that, yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Gabby. Cool. How did you feel about our first day of lab today? I'm going to use my favorite word, interesting. Interesting, yo. <laughs> my favorite word. You can use that word for anything, you though. You can, you can. It but means I like literally it. anything. Okay. Yeah. It was an interesting lab. Yeah. We won't tell them what happened at the end of lab. No. We'll, just, we'll just keep it at that. Some, <laughs> things, between us. some things just have to stay at the lab table. So it's about 10 p.m. and day two of medical school is officially over. I would say the biggest thing from today was the anatomy lab and meeting my first patient. Um, yes, the emotions definitely come up because that is a whole human being that was once alive um, and has a family probably and yeah. So it's, it's weird, super fascinating. I'm learning so much and um, that was just a huge part of my day today and I go back on Thursday. But another thing that I definitely wanted to say before going to sleep tonight is that even though I was really frustrated yesterday, I feel like I belong here. I feel comfortable here. Yes, I get annoyed, I get irritated, of course, because technology, life, but overall, I feel good here. I feel comfortable with the material around my classmates, all of that stuff. I've been feeling like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be when I'm supposed to be here, so I'm like really grateful for that. So we'll see if this energy continues to carry through the week. I'll keep you posted on that, but for right now I'm feeling good. And even though I didn't finish everything on my to-do list today, I'm going to sleep because I want to wake up early and start again. Um, yeah, so it's been quite a day and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good morning, it's still a little bit on the darker side, but um, we are in day three of medical school. I woke up kind of early this morning to kind of get a head start on reviewing some lectures for today. So we'll see how that goes. I don't wanna wake up my roommates, but I just wanted to say good morning. We're feeling great today. It's gonna be a great day. Okay. 
And today I wanted to take on some of these classes from home because a huge part of this week is definitely finding out like what strategy works best for me in terms of actually receiving the information. And this was the first time that we were exposed to embryology, so that was also kind of exciting too. Okay, so we just started a class called ASM, which stands for the Arts and Science of Medicine. And now we're going to spend about an hour or two creating our student oath, which we will probably say for the first time at our white coat ceremony next month. So um, nobody's in the classroom yet, it's just me, but people should be showing up soon. So I thought I'd just give y'all a little update before I disappear for this session and some studying later on. Y'all like my fit, by the way? Hey yo. Hey yo. Okay, all right, bye. Hello, I am back in my room. I finished with my ASM group, remember the arts and science of medicine. We crafted one sentence that will possibly end up in our oath that we're going to read during our white coat ceremony. Um, and it was definitely along the lines of interdisciplinary work, um, working within a community, putting the patient first. Um, so we'll see. Then uh, it was just like a small, my small ASM group of like seven to eight students, but there's 15 of those groups. So they're all going to, we've picked a representative to go meet up with like one of the deans, I think, and they're all going to draft like what will be our actual oath that we will say during our white coat ceremony. So yeah, it was, it was interesting, good to meet um, and get to know like where some of my classmates' heads are right now about like their responsibilities and things that we want to hold each other accountable for for the next four years. Um, yeah, so now I'm back here. I have a meeting in about 20 minutes. And then I gotta get back to studying because, yes, this is what I signed up for. Hi, it's um, just an update. I just, I was on schedule to actually catch up tonight and like be caught up and stuff and feel good academically. But then I decided, yo, it's really nice outside. I wanna go play some basketball. So for the last like hour and a half, yeah, I overdid it a little bit. I was um, shooting hoops and then last minute, this person who was also shooting hoops was like, you want to play one-on-one? -on -one? And then I got my ass like handed to me um, pretty badly. So now t tonight I've learned that I'm still behind in classes and I also am behind in ball. I suck at ball, but that's okay. So I'm going to go shower and maybe study for like 30 minutes and I'm going to take my butt to bed. There ain't nothing I could do here awake. There ain't nothing I could do now. It's over. But I'm glad that I took a break because I needed a break. And I sound funny because I have my aligners in um, because I wasn't planning on like, you know, playing any games or nothing. I was just gonna shoot around for a few minutes, turned into an hour and a half. Um, and I'm gonna get off now because I'm rambling, but I will probably see y'all tomorrow. Take your breaks. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon, actually. It's like 4 p.m. <laughs> um, this is my co-surgeon, Sharon. How are you feeling about surgery today? It was rough. It was rough? It was rough. That's not my specialty, I knew that, and I still know it. Hey. She's just jealous because she doesn't have scrubs like mine. But that's oh. okay. That's okay, though. That's nah. Good. Sharon has actually been blessing me because I was not prepared. I did not get my locker key, so I've been storing stuff in her locker because the stuff starts to smell like formaldehyde. That's the word on the block. Um, and we don't want to be bringing that home with us. Yeah, so I'm about to go change and then I'll see y'all later. Say bye, Sharon. Bye. Hey, locker. Yes, I'm going to show you what's inside. Um, so in here, I finally got my key today. A little bit late, but better than never. I've got myself my scrubs. Well, they're not really scrubs. It's kind of like some scrub joggers, a t-shirt that I'm just kind of like, this looks great for anatomy. Um, this is my, uh, what do you call it? Like my smock lab coat. I guess that's what you call it, a lab coat. Wait, I wrote ash on it because I don't want my ID inside the cadaver lab. Here are my goggles using and I needed those especially today because we were sawing through bone um, and then down here got these shoes for like four dollars and I was like this is it but they're actually kind of cute I was just like yo I could actually rock these but but I will not all right yeah so this is my lab um, locker over here and I hope you enjoyed this little tour Rather than sticking on campus, my roommates and I used our newfound freedom to go and find a cute study spot off campus. We also found some really good food along the way. You see Melly's, hit up Melly's, this is the spot.
guess what day it is it is the last day of my first week of medical school and something that i realized earlier this week is that i think that this might be like my last first day week of school i ain't trying to do more school after this so like i think this is it i think this is it yeah but basically it's friday it is friday um i'm about to walk into lecture number 10 i believe um, so this week we had to, uh, actually no, we have three lectures today. So 10, 11, and 12 today, and then we have a lab. So that's 12 lectures, about five or six labs this week, in five days. And I'm still standing, I'm still doing good, I'm still doing fine. I originally had planned because every week we have either a quiz or an exam and a table conference, which is part of anatomy, I'll explain that later. But um, this week we only have a quiz. I was planning on taking that like tonight, um, get out of the way, go enjoy my weekend, go have fun doing something, edit some YouTube videos, but I don't know now. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I'll just still go have fun and then just take this quiz on Sunday. I don't know. But either way, I'm glad that it is my last day of my first week of medical school. I survived. I thrived even throughout the week. Um, so I'm happy and I'm going to get going because I'm gonna be late to class um, but I'll see y'all later Yay. last lecture of the week how you feel exhausted exhausted how you feel Dorothy I'm tired yes yeah I feel you we're done congrats congrats but don't get fooled by these smiling faces because we still had to go into the anatomy lab after class. Do I look official yet? No, probably not. That's okay. But um, just the time is about 4 p.m. Just got out of um, our last anatomy lab of the week. Today we're looking at the thoracic um, cavity those muscles um a few of the ribs and like the intercostal spaces so that was um quite an experience i was tired I'm not gonna lie i was tired um and something that happened in the beginning of the lab uh listen i'm not a queasy type of person and i typically have a really strong stomach when it comes to actually that's kind of a lie it really depends on what it is but point is i saw something today in the beginning of lab that kind of like almost had me out for the count um I had to take a lap. I had to walk it off what I saw. I was just like, mm, 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 that ain't for me. I said, that ain't for me, fam. Um, so that was a little bit rough, but other than that, it was okay. I survived my first week of medical school. I'm done with this week. I mean, after I take this quiz, I'm gonna take a quiz later, but um, I'm done. I'm still living, I'm still breathing. Um, do I feel like I've learned a lot? Kind of. Kind of, I feel like a lot of information has gone in through this year and like out the other, but I think like a few little pieces have actually stayed here. Few, a few. We're getting there. We will get there. Um, one day, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, so I am, I'm exhausted and I need a break. So I'm probably gonna go um, head to Brooklyn to say goodbye to one of my friends who's actually leaving New York City. Um, print out some stuff, do some studying tonight, and just kind of try to relax, edit some videos because oh, your girl is tired. Um, but either way, I'm so, so glad that um, y'all have been able to follow me through my first week of medical school. One week down, only like, I don't know, hundreds, thousands to go, I don't know. There's a lot to go, we, we are barely getting started. Um, but yeah, so thank you for joining me. If you have not, subscribed please do subscribe down below uh, i've got some vlogs vlogs however you say that coming your way um what else i got coming your way i'm also listen i didn't forget about the mcat stuff i'm still helping y'all out with some mcat stuff if y'all need that um and just you know y'all gonna see more of me that, i guess that's basically what i'm trying to say you, you gonna see more of me so like comment subscribe do all that stuff so that i can love you forever and so that you can see my journey as we go through this thing called life and medical school at the same time <laughs> i think that's the hardest part but yeah it was a pleasure having you and i'm so glad y'all can be with me here this week and i will see you next time